I'm guessing you can smell the flavor from miles away. Look at how beautiful and colorful this jollof rice looks like. Okay, let me not get carried away. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm giving you vegetable jollof rice with good meat. As usual, all my ingredients are in the description box. So we are making vegetable jollof rice with goat meat from Ghana. Okay, so as you can see, this beautiful lineup here and the names are as follows. I have my Remy jollof rice seasoning powder, my Remy goat seasoning powder, my tomato puree, my curry powder, my bay leaves. I do have some shallots and a little bit of um, spices I mixed up myself, some garlic, some some green garden peas some sweet corn some green peppers beans some rosemary some black pepper and of course my rice and I do have my olive oil as well I do have some ginger over here which I already mixed tomatoes some pepper now this pepper can be reduced okay so some carrots and my goat meat also some salt so in seasoning my goat's meat, I use one teaspoon of salt and then a quarter of my goat spices, the shallots and then all-purpose seasoning that I already had that I showed you earlier on. And then now I'm going to get my onions, my pepper and then my garlic in there as well. So I'm going to blend them right away so i only used one of the onions i didn't use all three i used one and i'm adding a little bit of water to make the blending much much easier so right now i'm going to pour three spoons of the mixture which is pepper garlic and one onion so i used all the pepper in here so three of that into my meat and then i'm going to add a little bit of water to make it um steam much or properly now I am intentionally not using lots of water in my meat because I'm going to use the stock for my jollof rice and I do not want the water in there to be a lot which is going to affect the consistency of my jollof rice. So when it's on fire, if I am, you realize that the meat is too hard, you can still add some either ways. Now I go ahead to chop all my ingredients which I'm going to be using in my jollof rice okay when you're making jollof rice you have to do a lot of things simultaneously so when i chop all my ingredients then it's like i'm almost done with it guys you would realize in the video i'm holding a cup that was the cup i used to do all my measurements so when you hear me saying a cup that is the cup i'm talking about so i used um three cups of rice now i heat my oil for about three minutes before adding my onion and now you can chop the onion into very tiny bits or like this either ways i never really see the onions inside of the jollof and this is actually vegetable jollof rice so it's actually cool whichever way and now i put my tomato puree i'm going to use all of the tomato puree because i use um three cups of rice for this jollof that is three um tea cups of rice for the jollof rice and that's a lot so i'm using all of the tin tomatoes so now my good meat is done after 45 minutes which was my cooking time and as you can see it looks sumptuous and really really yummy so now i'm going to take out the meat and then i have my stock which i'm going to actually add to my oil and tomato puree on fire of which i add a little bit of water because i do not want the tomato puree to burn okay now after five minutes of frying remember we had some ingredients in the blender so this is it i'm pouring it into my stew and then mixing it up now as you can see i added some rosemary into the ingredients in the blender and then i blended it again because i do not want the taste of rosemary around my meat whenever i'm having a rosemary is not really something for meat but then it's for stew then i add my ginger right away then i give it a good mix we go ahead to fry our meat as i said when you're cooking jollof rice you have to be extra extra simultaneous with everything that you are doing because you do not want to spend your whole time in the kitchen as our meat is frying i go ahead to blend 
their tomatoes so now this blended mixture is actually just tomatoes okay so i pour it in my sauce and then i add my curry powder and then i add my jollof mix i just added um like about one teaspoon and then i added my bay leaves my black pepper now one importance of using black pepper is that it reduces the sourness of tomatoes you know tomatoes be over as a muka kaka into the black pepper and and everything is coming together smoothly you can see the quantity of oil is not too much you don't want too much oil and you don't want very little oil as well and my meat is freshly fried now i go ahead to add the meat into my stew now if you prefer you can actually finish your whole jollof rice and then just eat it with the meat but then i want the meat to be in the stew so it gets all the flavor and then everything comes together with the jollof and the meat so this is my three cups of rice after i've washed it so i'm going to pour the rice into the stew so the stew has basically been cooking for about 35 minutes okay about 35 minutes and as you can see i'm mixing up the rice into the stew now just let me give you a little ted talk of this jollof rice okay so now the thing is that jollof rice now is not jollof rice back in the day before we could use lots of water in our stew and then the jollof rice turns out perfect now if you use lots of water in your jollof rice it's actually going to turn into jollof soup i'm going to be using two cups of water for this jollof rice and whenever you are cooking jollof rice make sure that when you pour the water inside you can still see the rice when you are just standing over it if you realize the water is just floating at the top you can't see no rice grain you should know you are going to be making jollof soup okay because now the rice has been overly processed and it's not like hard um, rice grains back in the day so now maybe some people might feel like my water is not enough but then you see it's going to turn out perfect not hard not soft because i'm not going to allow any of my subscribers eat hard rice over here okay or eat soft rice over here so you saw me tasting my jollof rice to see how the salt is going now after you add the water and rice and everything you are going to realize that um maybe it's not that salty you know it has to be just a notch up salty okay just slightly um salty so you know it's gonna turn out perfect okay because after you add all the rice and everything it's like you've added more ingredients and so the limit of the salt has come down so you have to taste it before you add just a little bit of salt again now this is my final look of my jollof rice before i close it and then i allow it to cook now for jollof rice you are going to have to be stirring it up you know as it's on fire about between every five to ten minutes okay and you need to use very very minimum heat okay because the rice can stick under the pot so when that happens you just you know stir it up from the bottom upwards okay and don't make it in such a way that the jollof rice is going to get really soft so now we are done with our jollof rice and we are going to do a stir fry of the vegetables and then add the jollof rice to it so i'm going to be using my avocado oil spray which i bought from palace mall so i spray a little bit of oil you can use any other oil of your choice and then i go in with all my chopped um, vegetables so i go in with the carrot first which is because it's the hardest of all the vegetables i'm using now i'm using this method particularly because i do not want to make my vegetables in such a way that it cooks a lot in my jollof rice and sometimes if you add it at the very latter end the vegetables tends to be hard and then sometimes overcooked so when i stir fry it tastes absolutely amazing and i'm going to add some jollof seasoning to my vegetables as well so now i pour some of my jollof rice into the vegetables and then i stir it and then now see wow 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 we have our lovely lovely jollof rice and it looks so yummy and delicious you can eat it with salad or you can eat it with any other thing that you want so as you can see this is so beautiful to look at and it's so great and flavorful as well so kindly kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button if you like it and then do well to click on the bell to turn on post 
notification for my channel i really do appreciate you all so so much for everything 